that the innovation of online currency will be an important economic driver for the future uh, that allows people and companies uh, to reduce transaction costs and engage in, and facilitate the international transaction. Another reason we're highlighting an ATM here today is there has been some concern uh, from friends on both sides of the aisle with regard to whether or not uh, criminal enterprises or illicit transactions are using digital currencies. Other physical currencies have enormous advantages over any digital currency if somebody is seeking uh, to hide that transaction from visibility of law enforcement. Any transaction uh, that occurs here at this ATM includes uh, a palm print of the person who's using it, verifying it through their cell phone, a government issued ID, and facial verification uh, as well. So there's a far more identification uh, that goes into somebody who is withdrawing money here. Uh, and of course, uh, similar uh, uh, verification occurs elsewhere. So anybody who is seeking to use the currency for any sort of illegal uh, end uh, is much more likely to want to use dollar bills than they would be a currency that is a lot more traceable uh, than simply handing somebody on more bills in a briefcase. So there's a number of advantages from the law enforcement perspective. There's a number of advantages from the economic perspective. There's a number of advantages from the individual perspective in terms of uh, in terms of uh, facilitating transactions. You know, really, from our perspective, when we looked at this industry and we looked at the world and we looked at the global economy, looked at regulations, we tried to really wrap our heads around. I think John did such an amazing job, fully understanding how to best bring Bitcoin to the world while simultaneously adhering to regulation. Because right? that's really the only way that these two sides can work is if we play together. And I think the world has way too much to benefit with Bitcoin than without. Bitcoin will um, be able to regulate itself in a means that will be far better than any sort of regulatory body is able to do today. Um, we can make it where exchanges in the future, next generation exchanges, will not have control over depositor accounts without the permission of the depositor. Um, we are going to be able to have provable reserves in bank accounts and exchanges. We'll be able to prove to the people in a cryptographic and programmable way that will be able to inspire trust. Finally, for people in countries where the money supply is poorly managed, a Bitcoin holds out the possibility and the probability of having a reliable money supply. How devastating it is for people to live in a country where hyperinflation takes all the value of the savings you've put away. Uh, Bitcoin won't necessarily re replace any nation's currency, but it will be an outlet for people who want to get away from a currency that's not well managed by, by its nation's central bank. And that's an important protection that, that Bitcoin provides. The, the support that congressmen like Jared Polis are giving to Bitcoin show that those values are shared on Capitol Hill. Those values are, showed, are shared by the startup businesses like RoboCoin that are here today doing this. And that's very valuable. We see a lot of potential for Bitcoin in all these dimensions. And uh, congratulations again to RoboCoin and Congressman Polis for, for demonstrating this and for supporting uh, Bitcoin on Capitol Hill today. The first step is ATM, how you get them. So what do I do now? This one I can show you. I'll show you.